Alright, hey guys, here we are, hole 12 here, Chateau Whistler. And we are going to try to get this out in position. We come off power wise. Probably could have beat this up here just a little bit harder. Trying to figure out, am I going to be short iron range? Am I going to be long iron range? It's really going to come down to the second wind angle that we get. But all I'm trying to do is keep it right towards the max line here. As long as I made it, it looks like I did. So our power was good. So here you can see maybe about six rings in or something. And, you know, my club span, I'm thinking maybe 20%, 20 rings, give or take. So if I'm coming in 5, 8, maybe 60, 70% slider. Is that 8 rings? This is 13. This is 18, 20, 21, 23. You know, and this is just one of those tricks that can just help you with slider a little bit. So if I'm eight rings from the top and there's about 23 in the span, we know we're going to be, you know, somewhere down around 65% in the ballpark. So a 7-4. And you can see with what I'm doing with my ball guide, trying to keep it just a little aggressive towards the hole. I might just over pull just a touch. Because we're going to be pulling up to high ground here. So maybe towards seven and a half here. Because I do think the target is at a higher ground here than it would have been where I originally set up, which is basically causing the ball to kind of over adjust. And overall, I almost had that. I mean, it was spot on. The overplay I did kind of towards seven and a half was spot on. Uh, just needed to get that ball guy just a little bit tighter because that was going right at it. And we could have had our first drop there. Um, so do keep that in mind, you know, pointing the target towards higher or lower ground, you know, especially on big, uh, big ring play changes, you know, pay attention to those little subtleties and you'll definitely see improvement in your game. So good luck. I'll see you guys on eight.